Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. As you guys can tell, I'm in a different location. I'm on vacation right now, and of course, Superman and Lois had to drop an episode last night as I'm recording, recording this the next day. And it's the penultimate episode, the episode before the finale, episode 12 of season 3. Don't know the title. The main thing is Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor is in this episode. That's the main thing. And um, yeah, I'm excited for this. If Lex wasn't appearing in this episode, I'd probably wait till I get home. But <laughs> as I'm getting home, it'll be like two days away from the finale. So at the same time, it's kind of like, okay, do I want to delay the video really, really late or just bite the bullet and just get it done? Because we're kind of just chilling. We're kind of relaxing on vacation. But um, I wish this didn't drop <laughs> while I was on vacation. But it is what it is. I'm not doing as much content while I'm on vacation anyway, so it's fine. So let's dive in. We're going to see how this happens. This is going to kind of like a uh, very different type of recording because I'm using my phone and I'm not using my webcam and the footage in the corner to help editing easier. This is going to take a little bit of a longer process to get edited, but uh, let's dive in. Let's see what happens. I've been hearing some great things about Michael Cudlitz as Lex Luthor in the show. Of course, we, as we all know as well, season four has been confirmed. 10 episodes, we lost seven cast members. We're, we're literally, literally keeping the Kent family, right? Lois, Clark, Jonathan, Jordan, and then it's been, you know, announced that Lex Luthor is, uh, you know, Michael Cudlitz is being upped as a series regular for season four, but everybody else part of the regular cast for season three is pretty much done. They may be recurring, but most of them are moving on from the show because they're not going to come back for recurring or guest appearances. They're done. So we'll see what happens here. So let's dive in. Let's see what happens with the penultimate episode, the episode before the finale of Superman and Lois season three, the introduction of Lex Luthor on this earth. Let's go. All you want is to be better. But that will only come once you pay the price. Time. Oh, time. Okay, that makes sense. Like, what? There's still no update. Luther's legal team has had oh. Bruno's confession for weeks. I thought for sure we'd know something by now. Daughter? Hmm. Yep. Gather my things. It wasn't Superman who saved us, Sarah. Okay, if it no, wasn't, it was Jordan. So what? I mean, so uh, there's there's someone else up. Tell them what you uh, told us in Trig this morning. Jordan's right there, oh shit. Whatever. Um, Maybe there is someone out there our age. If so, that's a total badass, right? What? Goggles? Yeah. Goggles? Yeah. There we go, photo of them. Yeah. Superman? Someone new. Sounds like a kid. Say two teenagers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit. It's not about us, it's... The fact that he saved you. If he doesn't want to talk to you, fine, whatever, girl. He said that if there was someone that saved me in junior, that that person is a hero. Yeah! I mean, that technically, that yes. So oh, when he was first captured, okay. Who is that? The picture again, who is this? I said we're gonna let the kid finish his meal, Park. Why are you babying this kid? A few weeks ago, you wanted to fire him, and now well, he's getting free pass. But when Jordan rescued those kids from that accident, he let himself nothing he can be do. seen. Yeah, nothing he can George do. Junior won't shut up about it. Starting right now, no more saves. Not until this all dies down. See if you made it back out onto the dating circuit. Oh God, Wait, we're still going on with this. Oh, you moved on from this. I think maybe Jordan's enjoying it. Oh yeah, he's enjoying. It. Oh yeah, you could tell he is. He's just walking on the road. You for a trim fish. I cut my own hair. Was he an arrow? What do you want? Was an officer? Hell, fifty thousand, five dollars, and I'll let you keep your cell. This is not going the way he thought. Ooh. <laughs> Why is he laughing? Oh shit. Everything's good. Uh, no, not true. He's just mad because the guys at the firehouse aren't allowed to be mean to him. No. Okay, people talk about Superman all the time. Is it really the end of the world if I get a little bit of credit? It's not about credit. Why are you bragging to your friends about it? Mm. Wait, did Sarah say something to Miss Lang? It doesn't matter who said what. I thought you understood the responsibility that comes with what you can do. Not me, well. Obviously, I was wrong. Mm. Until we say otherwise. So we have one son who wants to be treated specially and one who doesn't. Yeah, I pretty much. Yeah. Water. Whatever Superman needs. Whatever he needs, you know. Like, that's the, the, oh, yeah, we got it. I'm that's what's true. John said that. John's the kind of kid who wants to earn his own spot. You know, be judged on his efforts and no one else's, especially mine. Vaughn, where are you? I'm going to be late. Oh, yeah, I forgot she got the job. Finally, published an article about him in the Daily Planet. Uh huh. How is it's getting serious. You? Yeah, well, I'm sorry. He's still Those walking on this road. Show did a number on you. But your time is running out. 
Your time's running out. Don't call the number. It could be bad. Who's this? Let me explain to you how things are going to work around here. Let me explain. <laughs> hey, Janet. Again. Shut this down. Shut it down. What? What Jordan do now? Nope, this it's Lex. This about him. Lex. Turned out Luther was released from prison yep. this morning. Why the hell didn't that warden give you the heads up? It was my story that helped set Lex is walking on the road. I don't think he's walking in Metropolis. I think I should tell my man to stop. We're going to be here a while. He's not walking to Metropolis. He's just walking on a road. And, and maybe I did treat you a little bit different after everything I learned. That's on me. Should have come to me first. Mm. I promise I didn't go and tell him. Yeah. He heard me talking and sort of just ran with it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So wherever you want. Hey, I kept your secret, okay? Could you try yeah. and at least not make that harder than it already is? Yeah. Sorry for saving your life. Which I've tried thinking you for. It is about me. It's my life. And you're not helping, so can you just stay out of it? Dude. I'm guessing he's gonna spin the other direction. You shouldn't be in here! I can help you! I don't need your help! Shit. Go home, Gordon. This is bad. This is bad. Under the desk, they're gonna help you. They're not even under the desk, they're like kinda like oh crouching near the desk. Okay, it's okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh, 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 this is making it worse. This is making it worse. You completely disobeyed me. You're just trying to help. I told you I didn't need Go your home. help. On top of that, why didn't you just fly away? We warned you what happened if the world found out you existed right now. You what? You just forgot? You just didn't care. Well, you better start caring. Why? Because you're telling me to. You will do what your mother and I tell He's gonna you move to out. do. Whatever. Jordan. Whatever. Hey. Oh, you want to go? Dude, you're going to lose. Don't you ever do that to me again. Because you will lose, boy. You will lose. And if they really think about it, his power set is pretty close to his. I mean, it's his. It's his. So, like, literally, yeah. It's the second time he's shown up in Smallville, which means he probably lives here. Uh... We might even know him. Were they gonna play some yeah, games? I, I thought Jordan was in trouble. Found that tornado. We need to keep him busy doing something else. Oh. The more we push back, the more he's gonna defy us. He's here. What? He was walking to their house. I see you managed to keep your release a secret. Lots changed since I went away. Uh huh. You got pregnant. What about your cancer? He knows a lot. Is that off limits too? My doctors are optimistic. Your cancer led you to Bruno Mannheim's wife and my acquittal. Mm-hmm. I should be grateful. I was innocent. Well, of that, but the evidence everything the else. didn't support your story. I got it wrong, and I'm sorry. I was innocent! Oh. 17 years of my life gone! Do you think your words can fix that? That's enough. Shut your mouth! You don't know who you're telling Your words are what put me away. I was wrong. About what happened to Moxie. I wasn't wrong about what you are. Mm. It's easy to be brave. With yeah, Superman step in. Tell Superman he's next. He's right there. Tell him yourself. <laughs> right on time, Otis. Oh, he did tell him that he could still walk if he. Mm. What is he doing? His chair is a guy. My God. Eating rats? So that was the Superman and Lois Season 3 Episode 12, penultimate episode of the show. Still don't know the title. It is what it is. Um, so I'll be kind of brief here. We're using my reviews a little bit longer, but um, yeah, I'm <laughs> just trying to get through this or whatever. So um, Michael Cutlass, Lex Luthor. I think great introduction, and I think it was interesting how they did some of the flashbacks terms when he first gets arrested and taking over the prison, how he does so, where he gets beat up and then the tides turn with the warden and everything. So he basically was in control for 17 years of the prison. So literally he was in prison, but he just, he was in control of everything. Um, him walking on the road just endlessly where they're speculating on the news, he can show up at LexCorp and he never shows up. He never shows up, you know, back at his business. Um, he has a daughter who won't speak to him anymore. Apparently she was 14 when he was arrested. So 
I'm guessing she might play a role in season four, potentially, since that is a major point for his character, since he's going to be a series regular, I'm assuming he'll, there'll be some sort of connection or something, they'll have her involved somehow in an episode or something in season four, potentially at least. Um, walking on the road, and his main goal is just to get to the house. He's just going to the Kent farmhouse. It doesn't, he's not doing anything else. He's there to tell Lois, you're going to retire, which is really an interesting thing because like Lex has a plan, but his first step is just to try to get Lois to retire, which obviously is not going to happen. But pretty menacing, pretty good scene in terms of having Clark, Lois, and Lex. And Lex doesn't know. Lex does not know that Clark is Superman. See, that was kind of a theory for a bit that maybe Lex might know who Clark is, like he's him being Superman. Turns out he doesn't know. He doesn't know that they're, they're the same individual. But see, if he would have known, I think that, that scene would have completely shifted because when he's sitting there staring down Clark, the dialogue would have shifted to, what are you going to do, Superman? Are you going to... You gonna kill me right now after being a free man? Like you're gonna, you go, just like you know, he's being all threatening and everything. It was a very, it was a very intense scene. And while this is all happening, we also have Jordan, who is being a complete ass, getting worse and worse in the episode. Where he's like, oh yeah, the guy that saved, uh, you know, saved saved him. Yeah, that, that, he's awesome. He's a cool hero. And they're all like laughing because he has goggles or whatever. Um, they're calling him the Smallville Samaritan, right? Um, now, Sarah does name drop Superboy, right? So, well, Superboy's trending or whatever. But they're calling him the Smallville Samaritan. Now, with all the discussion of how he saved, you know, Sarah and Junior, the, you know, former mayor's son, and um, him kind of bragging about it and them kind of realizing, okay, well, this there's a story that's about to go out and it does go out about this new hero that they tell Jordan you have to stop. You can't. And then, of course, here comes a tornado, which I thought there would, there would never be a tornado in the show, but there's a tornado in the show. And you have uh, Superman, of course, saving and, like, kind of going in the opposite direction, I think, of the Twister and shooting cold air and trying to, you know, which makes sense because it's, like, hot air, it's heat or whatever. It's like, it's, I don't know exactly the science behind how Twisters kind of form. But then here comes Jordan after he already has the suit taken away and he is helping when he was told not to help. And then, of course, he lands right where there's some people there. Of course, his grandfather, you know, the General Sam Lane's there. So he gets all these pictures and videos taken. And Superman, <laughs> Superman Clark, he's like, he's angry. And that whole scene of them, after coming back from break, um, really upset with him. And he, he's like, I don't care. I don't care. Like, you have all these rules. I mean, it's all about saving lives. It's more about that. And Jordan's not seeing the bigger picture because he's a teenager. He's not really fully understanding the grasp of what he should be doing. And then that one moment of Jordan, like, using his superpowers for a second against <laughs> against his dad. And I'm sitting there going, Jordan, he like, he's not going to actually really hurt you. Well, it's, it's more difficult because he is, he's, you know, far Kryptonian. However... If you push him hard enough and you start becoming a serious problem, which he's starting to become a serious problem at this point, I'm pretty sure Clark will do what he needs to do to stop you. And that means he could hurt you. Like, Jordan, there's no chance in hell you're going to win this. That little moment, I was shocked they went that far. But it goes to show where Jordan's at right now. Jordan is not thinking clearly and he doesn't really understand the full scope of him being a superhero. It was a pretty intense scene. Pretty intense. I can't wait to see what happens in the finale. Um, I think the ending with uh, with Bizarro eating rats and then eating that Otis guy or whatever, he's become a zombie. He's become a zombie essentially. He, he just likes eating flesh, I guess. Um, I'm not, I, I think that was the same guy. No, I don't think it was the same guy. The guy that was in prison that was kind of, you know, shaving in the whole fight scene where Lex got his ass handed to him, but he was planning that out, right? Because he wanted them to make the choice. But they, of course, they did not make the right choice. Um, that guy, who was like, no, it's going to be now 50000 I'm pretty sure that guy was from Arrow. I'm pretty sure he played a security guard working in the prison of, uh, oh, during the Oliver uh, prison arc in season seven. Yeah, yeah, not eight. Yeah, because eight was possibly season seven. Um, I'm pretty sure that was. I'm pretty sure that was a security guard. I'm pretty sure he just had he was clean shaven. I'm pretty sure it was the same guy. If it, if I'm wrong, they look really damn similar. But I was like, I think the same guy. 
Um, Jonathan, of course, getting, was getting treated a little bit differently. Kyle took offense to it because he thought Jonathan should have came to him instead of... But he really didn't go to his dad, right? You know, you know Clark just like, hey, Kyle, can you treat him like he wants to, he wants to go on, on his own? He wants to do this on his own. Let, let him do it, you know? And so he was a little offended that, well, you didn't. You should have came to me first. Like, everything happening here, I shouldn't, you know? Was, but I get the point of Jonathan maybe not wanting to because he's like, how is Kyle going to take it if I go, hey, I know you know that my dad's Superman. Could you not treat me different? <laughs> So, um, but anyways, it was a really good episode, had a good time with it and, uh, some pretty interesting moments. And I think Sarah and Jordan's relationship is further proving. And I think it's going to really help the fact that they're probably, we're not going to be seeing a lot of these characters in season four, even though I would like to see their storylines continue, but with budget cuts and cutting even more episodes down to 10 for season four, it's probably going to help Jordan for the best to step away. Cause I feel like part of the thing of him becoming who he is at the moment in terms of his actions is because of Sarah because of how he's re responding to her. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Hope you guys are just, kinda, just trying to film this as much as I, the best I possibly could. So apologies for not being the way it used to be, but vacations. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry for a little bit shorter review, but you got my, you got, you got the gist of my thoughts on the episode. It's, it's pretty good. So, and I can't wait to see more Lex. And I'm, I, I'm happy he's going to be in series, uh, Caesar, a uh, series regular season four. I hate the fact that we're losing seven cast members for that, but yeah. See you next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.